Good morning, Longhorns. I'm Danica. And I'm Brittany. And congratulations to Dan and the girls soccer team for being a D1 CIF champs. Now here's the news you need to know. The French Cup will be having our Semester 2 French Film event on Friday, March 13th in Room 710. The French Film The Untouchables will be shown at 2.45 and French Snacks and Water will be available. Ask your English teacher about extended learning credit. All are welcome. Stereotypes. Join us at the IB Think Tank on March 20th in the library from 4 to 7 p.m. Ask your teachers about extra credit opportunities and come break stereotypical barriers. Would you like to go to Paris and Barcelona next year over spring break? If so, come to our first student informational meeting on Friday, March 13th in room 710. Trip overview and details will be presented. This is a fabulous trip. Any questions, see Ms. Schwanner in room 710. Some other club news. Anime Club meets Wednesdays at lunch in room 809. Join us for the club photo. Join the maker movement. The Makers Lab is making e-textiles. Think computerized pillow. We meet after school on Mondays in room 343. Fashion Club meets Mondays at lunch in room 327. Hey guys, want to sign up for the blood drive? Sign-ups are every day at Nutrition and lunch until Wednesday. You must be 16 years older and up. Be a hero, save a life. Hey students, do you have what it takes to be drafted into the next student draft? Wait, what's a student draft? You know what the student draft is. It's just like the NFL draft, but the student's draft is for teachers to draft students for the following school year. And before the draft, you have the student combine, where students show off their academic abilities. And here's Cody and Tyrell with the highlights of the 2015 student combine. I'm Cody. And I'm Tyrell. And this is RBV TV Student Combine 2015. First topic, typing 40 words per minute. Too little or too much? See, in my opinion, I feel it's too little. I mean, we had two, we had two incredible athletes out there today. We had, we had one sleazy student and we had one top of the line student, top, valedictorian, top of his class, you know. And I, if I'm correct, I think our valedictorian did about 70 to 100 words, yeah. which is on average for your statistics that you looked up, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, so our sleazy student, he only did 40. Seem a little amateur to you? Very amateur. I could tell by his form, very sloppy, very poor, leaning back in his chair. That is absolutely terrible technique. And if you looked at him in the video, we're gonna show the video in just a second. And if you look at him, his back is not straight. He's like really slumped over, am I correct? Yep. Yeah, you can't be slumped over. So when you're typing, you gotta stand straight out. You gotta just be in your zone. All right, let's, get, let's go on to the next one topic today and reaction time so let's talk about our sleazy student first well as you can see in the video he's really slumped down in his chair he's leaning back his arms crooked not very aerodynamic and when you're sitting like that the teacher can't see you you can't answer the questions and you don't really learn all right next up we're going to talk about the posture now posture is the key to being quick by sitting straight that arm can fling up ultimately beating everyone else to the answer do we have an on-site reporter i am not sure uh, well let's hold on just well taylor's in the building well, I guess we do have an on-site reporter. Why don't you go ahead and send it to him? All right, take it away, Taylor. Surfboard! Third topic, speed drill, class to class. What's your opinion on that? Okay, so if you look at the video closely, we have our top-of-the-line student. He has both straps of his backpack on. His chest, his chest is up, his shoulders are back, his knees are slightly bent, and he's leaning slightly forward, so he's ready to burst out the door. Now, our sleazy student, he... I just don't know what's going on here. I can't, I can't deal with this. I mean, so many people have taught him so many things, and he just doesn't, he just doesn't pick it up. He's dragging his backpack. He's, he's standing straight up. You're not going to get out of the class that way. Exactly. By being closer to the door, you could quickly get out when that bell goes off. Get down the halls before the students come, ultimately getting to class on time and safely. Fourth and final topic today, in-class attentiveness. Tyrell? Tyrell? What? 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 What's the topic again? Sorry. In-class attentiveness. Okay, so in-class attentiveness. That's paying attention in class, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, as you can see, we have our sleepy student. Still got music in his ear. It's just pitiful. Like, look at him. Can you believe this? I can't. I can't even believe this. Look at him. Still got music in his ear. His headphones are in. How can you hear the teacher? Does he have any idea what the teacher is saying? I don't believe so, as you can tell with the video. Well, let's see if Taylor asks him that. I didn't have breakfast! Thanks, Taylor. Now, going back to our sleazy student, he's still got headphones in his ear. He's listening to music. He can't hear what the teacher's saying. And when you're like that, you just can't learn. He's basically falling asleep. 
So you, you're talking about posture, right? Yep. All right, go ahead and tell us about that. When you're sitting straight up, the blood will rush to your brain. You'll stay awake. But the sleazy student's already slouched down. His hands are tight because he's playing on his phone. Guarantee you he'll fall asleep within the next 15 minutes. All right, well, that does it today for the student combine. I'm Cody. And I'm Tyro. And keep the grass green, Longhorns. Oh, no.